Hello friends, welcome back to another video of Automation Testing Insider. So today I'm going to talk about like what do you mean by quality assurance and what do you mean by quality control and what is the difference between them. So I'll take you directly to my PPT where we'll discuss what is the difference between what do you mean by quality assurance, quality control and what is the difference between them. So let's get started. guys let's talk about quality assurance qa and quality control qc but before i start quality assurance and quality control let's talk about like what do you mean by quality so in simple terms quality means if any product is fit for our use or fit for our purpose is called quality so it's all about meeting needs expectations with respect to functionality design uh, reliability and price it's called a quality product and what do you mean by assurance so assurance is nothing but kind of positive declaration of a product or service which gives us con confidence okay, so that guarantees uh, that gives the guarantee that this product work without any problem that is nothing but the assurance so in uh, in software terms how do you define quality assurance so it is a procedure to ensure that the quality of software product or products or services provided to the customer is called the quality assurance and uh, quality mainly focuses on improving software development life cycle in the last video we have seen one side of the v model is called the verification and the other side is validation Similarly, this part is called quality assurance and this is quality control. So here we have software development life cycle. Here we have testing life cycle. Software testing life cycle. So QA mainly focuses on improving software development life cycle. And uh, nowadays this QA becomes SQA as well. Software quality assurance. Now, what are the different uh, stages of uh, quality assurance to make sure that quality assurance tech, tech, uh, is on place in any company? So there are four uh, steps like we have plan, do, check and act. Plan, do, check, act. So so in planning what we do we should plan the process related objectives process related activities we should plan process to make sure all the process is on place do is nothing but do uh, changes to the existing process or uh, the development of the new process is called the do check what we do monitoring the process it is monitoring the process monitoring the process and act take actions to improve the process so this is act is nothing but the improvement improvement do is kind of changes to the existing process or development of the new process so these are the four stages involved in quality assurance guys and uh, there are some certifications in quality assurance probably you might have heard about cm level cm i level and we have iso 9000 so these are the quality standards uh, uh, certifications which company used to do uh, when we call like uh, if any company is like cm level 3 or 4 right so company has to follow certain process areas if it is same level 3 then there are certain process areas which company uh, has to follow so who will handle this qu uh, quality assurance process so company used to hire quality analyst who will take care of all the quality assurance related activities all the process areas they will make sure that every documents everything is on place and uh, they used to prepare the templates as well we cannot use any template without any 
uh, I mean, without we, we, without certification, we cannot use any templates. That has to be as per the process. Take an example. Suppose we want to use any uh, test case summary document or test case uh, authoring document, test cases document or test plan. So all sh uh, should be certified by QA, and uh, the proper template should be there. And in similar level, if you have probably you might have already aware, we have five stages like initial, uh, repeatable, defined, managed, and optimizing. So those are the five different stages of CM level. Now let's talk about quality control. So the other side of the V model, V model will discuss later on. So just to explain you guys uh, like what do you mean by QA and QC that's why I have uh, I took the help of this V diagram. Now let's talk about QC what do you mean by QC. So QC is nothing but it's a software engineering process to ensure quality in a product or service. So basically it examines the end product once product is developed. So this is like quality assurance is part of when product is going under development phase and quality control comes under uh, once product is done the testing part it, it's nothing but quality assurance and this is handled by uh, tester this is handled by the software tester with the help of quality analyst with the help of you guys so this is brief about quality assurance and quality control. Now in the next slide, let's talk about the difference, the more difference between them. So a couple of difference I can talk about it like this is process oriented quality assurance and quality control is product focused. It is mainly focused on the product and this is mainly focused on process. And this is preventive technique. Quality assurance is preventive technique preventive technique and quality control is corrective corrective what do you mean by that so preventive is it prevents the defect and it corrects the defect so in the next slide let's talk about more about uh, the difference between quality assurance and quality control so k is the process of managing the quality managing for the quality that is quality which we have discussed quality control is used to verify the quality of the product quality of the product qa aims to prevent the defect this is what we have discussed and qc aims to identify and fix the defects so in testing what we do we raise the defects and get it fixed from development team so qc aims to identify and fix the defect it is method to manage the quality verification it is method to verify the quality validation which i have uh, spoken about in the last video one part is called one part of v model one side of the v model is called verification and other part is other part is validation so the left side is called verification and right side is validation so here this is quality assurance and this is quality control it is preventive technique it prevents the defect it is corrective technique it is process to create the deliverables it is process to create the deliverables means uh, QA guys will help us to uh, prepare all the templates which I have discussed earlier like test case summary template test case document or test case template test plan defect defect report defect summary report all these documents are prepared by QA guys. So it prepares the deliverables. It is the process to create the deliverables. It is the pro process to verify the deliverables. So we used to prepare all these documents and we'll verify, right? Whether uh, uh, it is working correctly or not. I mean, uh, when we write the test cases, so we verify all those deliverables. And QA is part of SDLC, mainly it's part of software development lifecycle and QC under software testing life cycle. 
involvement of whole team and here testing team generally qa also involved here like quality assur uh, assurance people quality analyst perform before qc and it performs after qa so this part anyway this is software development life cycle sdlc so this will happen first and this is afterwards once product is ready then software testing life cycle so yeah this is all about qa and qc guys and uh, uh, there is another term called quality engineering qe probably will discuss more about quality engineering later on so in case if you have any questions then please let me know so thank you guys for watching have a nice day bye bye